The political deadlock in Croatia following the November 8th parliamentary elections appears to be over. Late last night, the head of the HDZ-led center-right coalition, Tomislav Karamarko, and the leader of the most list of independent candidates, Bojo Petrov, apparently reached an agreement on forming a parliamentary majority. At 6 p.m. yesterday, President Kolinda Grabar Kitarvic gave them 24 hours to choose a prime minister designate. So far, neither Karamarko nor Petrov has revealed who will be named to the post. President Kolinda Grabar Kitarvic held a press conference last night at which she announced that Most and the HDZ had informed her that they had the support of 78 MPs in Parliament, two more than the minimum 76 required to form a parliamentary majority. The President started her fifth and final round of consultations just minutes ago. After the consultations, she is expected to give the Most and HDZ candidate for Prime Minister designate a mandate to form the next government. Among those who have agreed to support the HDZ-led center-right coalition is Zagreb Mayor Milan Bandic, whose party won two seats at the parliamentary elections on November 8th. This according to party vice president Yelena Pavicic Vukicevic. The HDZ has also apparently received support from former independent Democratic Serb Party member Mirko Rashkovic, who split with the SDSS after claiming that he was being pressured from within his own party to support Milanovic and the SDP. SDP leader Zoran Milanovic today held a press conference at which he said that so long as there remained a chance of his center-left coalition forming the new government, he would continue to work towards doing so. He also denied once again that he or anyone within the SDP had tried to pressure individual members of most to give the SDP their support. Speaking for Croatian Radio today, senior SDP and HDZ officials Peja Grbin and Miroslav Kovac both agreed that Croatian politics had hit rock bottom, but each accused the other side of being the root of the problem. Grbin likened Most's last-minute decision to side with the HDZ to well-rehearsed theater, while Kovac claimed that SDP leader Zoran Milanovic had brought political discourse in the country to new lows. While Croatia sends diplomatic notes to neighboring Slovenia, the Slovene government continues to erect razor wire fences along the two countries' shared border. The fence initially being put up by the Slovene military is now being erected by a private company. The fence, designed to limit the flow of migrants into the country, has been widely criticized by citizens on both sides of the border. Taking a quick look at sports and regional ABA basketball league action, Cedevita Zagreb beat crosstown rivals Cibona 81-69 last night. Cedevita is currently first and Cibona eighth in the 14-team league. In KHL hockey league action, Zagreb's Medvishchak was defeated at home by Latvian side Dinamo Riga 3-0. The Bears are currently ninth in the 14-team Western Conference. Predominantly sunny and unseasonably warm this afternoon. Moderate cloud cover in Gorski Kota, Lika, and on the northern Adriatic, which could be accompanied by some light rain. There will be a mild to moderate northwesterly on the coast. Highs for the day will be between 12 to 17 degrees Celsius. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for moderate to heavy cloud cover, morning fog, and colder temperatures. Predominantly sunny on the coast with increased cloud cover on the northern Adriatic where there could be some light rain. 